And uh, what do they serve you? No today? goiter. Halt! Biomarker. Here. Report to Meyer in dispatch. The commander is on his way back from the field. Does Matt often go out on field missions? Used to be. He was hardly ever on the ship. Always in the field. Always helping. That's why I joined the Peacekeepers. But lately, Matt's been acting weird. I'm not sure what that's about. It's been this way since before Old Villador and the Renegade attack there. Now this bullshit with the withdrawal, I, I don't get it. Whatever's going on, I hope he addresses the men soon. Helps us understand this bullshit withdrawal. Hmm. He's probably got his reasons. Whatever they are, innocent people are gonna get killed. The ghost see Meyer. Thanks. You're clear. Hey, where's dispatch? There. All right, men. We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast, and easy. Go, go, go. Remember you from the canteen? Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. Uh, who's Missy? It's the name of the ship you're standing in. She played a key role during the revolution. Missy was meant to deliver drugs, masks, and other critical medical supplies, then return home. But by then, home was gone. She and her crew had nowhere to go. And what about now? Now, she serves as PK headquarters in Command Central. All directives are issued from right here. Smart. Easier to defend than a building. Exactly. Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Medic, hurry. Fuck, that's Major Matt. Medic, Something's hurry. happened. Make room! The other way! He's bleeding out! Fuck. Hater's oh in really bad shape. Take him to the infirmary. Don't Summon the medics. Going. We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. Better hope Ator survives. We lost too many people in old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. No, Stephen. Some filthy herb grubber will decide my husband's fate. Is that why you got a medical degree? To go running to quacks for magic cures? Listen, we don't have medicine. Herbs are our only chance. My husband has fought for you for years. You must get medicine for him, not some herbs that might poison him. <sighs> Time to go, kids. How is he? Ator is strong, but he needs medicine. And that, unfortunately, we don't have. We did the best we could with what we have. After the chemical attack, some plants gained healing properties. They work like an antibiotic. But still, I, people here have strong opinions about healers, but you can hardly blame them. The folk healers give sound advice, but it can prove difficult to follow correctly. Misremember something, 
gather the wrong herb or use the wrong dosage. And instead of medicine, you administer poison. Which has happened plenty. Think I can help? You'd be doing us a big favor. What happened in Old Velador is terrible. We lost so many people. As far as I know, Ator is our only witness. So if he dies, we don't find out what happened there. Exactly. Right, where can I find this healer? On COVID Island. Don't worry. You can trust Marker. It's an emergency. Somebody there? Who's there? I have a man in dire need of a healer. Shh. She's asleep. Will she be awake soon? It's an emergency. Always an emergency. Like the time that young woman needed a potion to induce labor, and the guy who needed a salve for his hernia, and... What else was there? Please wake her up. A man's life is in danger. It better be. If I find out he just has a hangover, I'll wake her up. But you'll still have to wait. I haven't seen you before. How'd you know where to find us? From the peacekeepers. Then you've come to the wrong healer. Get out. Haven't you all made her suffer enough? And now those renegades. They'd been a ceasefire for years. They left us alone. And then, all of a sudden, they went mad. Where were you when they were taking over the island? For the first time, we really needed you. And what? You didn't come. They're gone. I just took care of them. I don't believe you. You're lying. Just to get what you want. Like all peacekeepers. Do we have a visitor, Gerard? I'll be there in a moment. It's a peacekeeper! Well, I'm not a peacekeeper. I'm only trying to help one. All the same to me. Let him in, Gerard. I'm just a messenger. A doctor sent me. His name's Stephen. Doctors shun folk healers these days. Using a folk remedy would harm his reputation. It already has. He sent me to you against the wishes of the man's family. Gerard? Yes? You said there was a man. He saved us from the renegades. Is this the man? What's your name, boy? Aiden. So... You are the one who saved us. We owe you a great debt. And who is the dying man? His name's Ader. He's a high-ranking officer. Margaret, don't. If something goes wrong, you'll be blamed again. But if this goes well, perhaps it's a chance to help more people. Blamed again? What do you mean? The last peacekeeper to ask me for help blamed me for his own incompetence. Gave his wounded soldiers the wrong herb. Despite my clear instructions. And several died. Blamed it all on me. I'm only still alive because Jack Matt deigned to be merciful. Decided it was a tragic accident. He spared my life. But took my eyes. Does this mean you'll help me? I'm out of the herbs you need, but I can tell you where to find them. You'll be looking for a flower called the Recluse. It thrives in soil soaked in toxic sludge. You will be able to pick it up safely only at night, when its petals glow. But it's not enough to simply pick it willy-nilly. Only the small petals have the healing qualities. Beware of the big ones. They contain deadly poison. Can you remember that? Small petals heal, big ones poison. I'll remember. We'll regret this, I assure you. Hey, Luan, I need your help. Sure you do. What's up? I'm looking for an herb. It's called the recluse. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm familiar with it. I think those funny flowers grow by the canal, north of All Saints Bridge. That's where I'd look. It's a lead. And actually, I'd wait until night. Oh, uh, thanks. Ciao. 
How's the patient? He's starting to wake up. Thank you for your help. You can go. Wait, what's going on here? You went to the witch, didn't you? To this Margaret. A witch? Never met any witches. There's no such thing as witches. That's superstition. Superstition? Witchcraft is a crime! Please. Just calm down. What's happening? We're losing him. Aiden, give me those herbs. I just did it. Keep that witch's poison away from I him. I can give him an injection to stabilize him, but it won't last long. Did you tell her who the medicine was for? She killed his men. She should have hanged for that, but Jack Mac had ate or burn her eyes out instead. What? Did you tell her? She'll have given you poison. I guarantee it. Aiden, give me the herbs, damn it. How is he? It appears the medicine is as effective as I'd hoped. He needs his rest. We should all leave him be. I... I won't be far. It looks like you had Margaret pegged. She didn't want to poison him after all. Yes. Seems that way. And what'll happen to him now? If all goes well, he should start to wake up soon. And then we'll find out who did this to him. All thanks to you. <laughs> 